French President Emmanuel Macron has the distinction of becoming the first world leader treated to an official state visit since Donald Trump took office. And it comes with all the extra pomp. The trip comes as the US and Europe are divided on a host of issues. Macron will spend three days in the US. The two presidents are expected to discuss growing trade tensions around the world. The EU is exempt, for now, from new US tariffs on steel and aluminium. But Macron is also opposed to Trump's aggressive moves towards a possible trade war with China and his proposed tariffs on billions of dollars worth of Chinese goods. Other issues include the crisis in Syria and the Iran nuclear deal, known as the JCPOA, or Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. While France and Europe want to keep the agreement, Trump has issued warnings that he may withdraw. Macron addressed the issue with Fox News. I don't have any plan B for nuclear against, uh, against Iran. So that's a question we will discuss, but that's why I just want to say on nuclear, let's preserve this framework because it's better than a sort of North Korean type of situation. On the issue of Syria, Macron is likely to urge the US to remain and help rebuild the country once war has ended. Macron argues that only by investing in the country can it avoid future chaos. Trump has made clear he wants out of Syria and soon. Macron is trying to keep relations tight between the EU and the US, especially as there has been a chill between the US and Germany. Some observers say France also sees a chance to replace America's most important ally in Europe, the UK. Prime Minister Theresa May is embroiled in Brexit negotiations, giving France an opportunity to step in to become the major ally. While Macron has been on a charm offensive since Trump took office, his actual results are arguably few. Macron tried to convince Trump to remain in the Paris Climate Agreement and not to impose tariffs on steel and aluminium. In both cases, to no avail. Toby Muse, CGTN, Washington.